And we're back on the roof. So we are working on a little sandwich shop. And when they're calling for cooling, just the fan comes on. Um, so this is a heat pump. It's a single phase heat pump. Compressor's not coming on. Contactor's not closing. So, um, and I've already checked between our, uh, why I'm getting the call. So, so for some reason this is not happening. So the first thing we did is we hooked up a gauge just to see if we have pressure in there, uh, which we do, plenty. Uh, we're probably gonna hook up a high side too, just double check. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the basics. We're gonna test our um, circuits, our uh, high and low pressure circuits, just to make sure that they are closed. And if they aren't, that will explain why it's not coming on. Because uh, basically you get the call for cool, goes through the high and low pressure switch, then comes back. The little logic board says, yep, I'm receiving the signal, and then it'll send voltage to the contactor to close it, which will turn everything else on. Um, and then the fan's just direct. It's receiving the call, so it's just turning on the fan. So, here we go. Okay, so we got the power shut off. And what we want to do is... Uh, I've already double checked, so we've checked the we've checked the contactor up there uh, between here and here, just to make sure uh, we're not getting voltage, and we are not. Um, so we got to check those pressure switches. So I've already looked at the schematic, and basically that's these two wires here. So I'll pop these out. So we switch our our meter to um, continuity. So we should be getting continuity between the black and the blue wire here. Okay. So we are not. So one of these pressure switches is open for some reason. Um, there's no reason it should be. So these are where they connect. So the two blue wires are gonna be our low pressure and the two black wires are gonna be our high pressure. We're disconnecting these here. So these two blue, so these these wires here are running to the board. So we're just gonna make sure that the wires are okay. So we're gonna go ahead and we've got one down here. And that's the blue one, so we should get a tone. All right, good. And then we're gonna check our black wire too, just to make sure. All right, cool. So now what we want to do is we want to check each individual pressure switch. So this is the high pressure, and then these are the low pressure. So we should get a tone. So the low pressure is good. So this is our high pressure switch. So there's our problem. Our high pressure switch is not closed, so it's not receiving the voltage needed to turn on. So what we're going to do now, for testing purposes, We're gonna take some jumper cables because these are two males. Um, yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this blue one and plug that one back in. And we're not gonna, we're gonna take these black ones out of the circuit, uh, but unfortunately these are two females. So we're gonna use our jumper cables just to hook it up and see what's up. Just like that. And now we're going to plug our two wires back into the circuit board. Alrighty, so we got these jumped and we got that plugged back in. So we'll go ahead and put in our disconnect. I just heard the, um, I just heard the uh, reversing valve click on. So now we just got to wait till the thermostat kicks in. Uh, there is going to be a slight delay. But, if I'm correct, the compressor should kick right on. So there goes the blower. Alrighty, so apparently I had a crazy long delay, but it came on. And so we seem to be good. So we're going to hook up our gauges, see what our pressures look like. And then we'll see what the temperatures look like. Now, this evaporator coil is pretty nasty. So, let's show you here. And 
and uh, this economizer probably does not work. So yeah, that's that's the coil. It's pretty nasty. So I'm gonna recommend that get cleaned. Yeah. Well, our compressor's running, but our fan isn't. So now we got to see what's going on with that. So let's get the power. <laughs> coil's getting hot all right cool so just so one thing at a time so we got a bad high pressure switch which totally makes sense now the condenser fan motor probably gave out uh, caused it to go off on over limit or, or high pressure and kept doing it constantly until it just blew out the high pressure switch so yep all right cool so let's see what's up with this motor Okay, so we got our capacitor there. We're checking in between fan. We're getting three microfarads. Should be enough for it to run. Uh, we're gonna see what the motor calls for. So let's see. This guy calls for a five microfarad uh, run cap. So let's see if she spins. spins all right well could be a bad motor all right so let's recap so basically we got a bad condenser fan motor which failed um, compressor and everything kept running caused high pressure high pressure switch tripped um, and apparently this probably happened it would probably turn on and off on and off on and off so then it caused the high pressure switch to fail uh, which doesn't allow the compressor to turn on anymore. So um, that's pretty much what happened. And then on top of that, we got a dirty evaporator coil. Uh, and condenser coil could be cleaner too. So we're gonna go ahead and write this up, put this all back together and see if, what they want us to do. But it looks like we found our problems. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am, and we'll see you on the next one.